Let's take a look at our district wins. Every year, the Greater Fort Myers Beach Chamber Foundation presents the Golden Coconut Award. It's given to the Fort Myers Beach Elementary Teacher of the Year. This year's winner of the prestigious award is Coach Lodovico. Congratulations, Coach, from all of us in the school district of Lee County. Teachers and staff at Franklin Park Elementary send out a big thank you to Coles, who provided each student with a book to read for the upcoming Read Across America Day and a stuffed animal, which should make a really cool reading buddy. Congratulations to Dunbar High senior Rodney Wallace, who was named the News Press Media Group 2015 Rising Star of the Year. This award honors high school students who are achieving not only in the classroom, but outside of it. This humble Dunbar High student didn't even know that he was a finalist for the award until seeing his picture in the news press. These students from Heights Elementary created their own masks for the Chinese New Year celebration. Oh, the boys and girls wanted me to remind you that 2015 is Gong Hai Fat Choi, the year of the sheep. Ida Baker High Junior ROTC students truly made a difference by volunteering for a weekend project with Habitat for Humanity, which builds and renovates houses and sells them to Southwest Florida families in need at no profit. This portion of the project involves raising the interior walls. Way to go, Bulldogs. All dressed up and ready to go. Mr. T from Rayma Page Elementary and Mr. Lefko from Bayshore Elementary, along with Superintendent Dr. Nancy Graham, were much honored to ride together in the Edison Festival of Light Grand Parade last weekend. Hey, have you noticed that the 31 Golden Apple finalists from the School District of Lee County are now featured on tray liners at Southwest Florida McDonald's? Let's wish the best of luck to all of this year's finalists. Now there's only one thing left to say. We're loving it. It's all about the food at Astero High this day. Students can't wait to try the brand new subline offered for lunch in the Astero Cafe. It's a great day to be a hungry wildcat. Finally, the South Fort Myers High Marching Band recently held a fundraiser at Culver's. The students are planning an end of the year road trip together. Here's a big thank you to all who came out to help support the Wolfpack. Remember, you can subscribe to Lee Schools TV on YouTube to receive the most up-to-date stories right on your phone or personal computer. Lee Schools TV is also available on Comcast Cable Channel 99 or on Twitter.